Humans have been using agriculture on this planet for thousands of years. But what do we do when we want to take our farming to the stars? This is where the autonomous multi-cycle farming system is needed. The autonomous planting system, or growth chamber, translates the X, Y, and Z directions to properly plant crop seeds with the end effector in microgravity. The X axis is controlled by a stepper motor pulley system. The Y axis is controlled by a dual stepper motor pulley system. And the Z axis is controlled by a stepper motor threaded rod system like some CNC machines. The end effector works in microgravity by forcing seeds out of a nozzle with a thin filament driven by another stepper motor. After a nutrient solution is inserted into the water module with standard International Space Station fittings, the linear actuated plunger forces the nutrient solution through a solenoid valve into the seed trays. The design trays allow for the water and nutrients to rise through capillary action, where the seeds take several days to germinate and several weeks to fully grow. The crop, and in this example, microgreens, can then be harvested by astronauts and a new cycle can begin. For the system to be autonomous, we need to define the individual states of the chamber for farming to be configured. Now, how do we configure the growth chamber? It all starts with a configuration file that is designed by botanists or any plant professional. This configuration or many configuration files are then loaded into the farming user station by a system administrator. The system administrator will also add farming chambers to the user station with their default configuration file found in the configuration library. The astronaut can then edit a configuration file in the library or on the chamber, view the configuration history for that chamber, and manually control the device. Each configuration file will have different parameters based on the crop type and the farming chamber state. Here is an example of the hardware for the prototype chamber being controlled by the farming user station manual control box. Many different growth chambers can be loaded into the farming user station, and astronauts can also view reports for any particular farming chamber to make sure it's operating as expected. And finally, when the crop is ready to harvest, the application notifies the astronaut. In the future, we hope to incorporate artificial intelligence to detect the needs of the plants and further limit human interaction.